Doing the same thing repetitively in grazing management, even if it's the same recovery period time and time again, or the same time of year of grazing, or the same type of stock again and again, will lead to entropy or a simplification of that community. And that will, in the long run, because of the economy of ecology, begin to cost you money to boost that production and get the return out of it. So we really want people to go home with a change of pattern. In other words, not doing the same thing repetitively in their paddocks. The more diversity you've got in the things you can do, or the things you're running, the more diversity of practice you can put into action in a paddock. You can use sheep versus cattle, or young stock versus mature stock to get a different pattern of use in a paddock. You can use them at different times of the year. Sometimes sheep and cattle can be run together. Sometimes they have to be run apart. But that kind of diversity of species and or production system means you've got a lot of different actions you can put in to paddocks, which means you can have more biodiversity in the long run. We want each paddock looking different at the end of a growing season for two main reasons. The one would be an ecological reason, so that means that we've got different events having taken place in that paddock. We've got therefore different physiology, we've got different soil feeding taking place, we've got different organisms in the soil having a different uh, feed for the year and a different pattern of use. If we can change the pattern of use, we therefore change the, the biology and the ecology of that. The second side of it is the economy of it. If I've got young feed going into a dry spell, it'll dry off with a really good quality feed, so I can young, young, run my young stock there, and in running the young stock there, I can get a higher productivity out of them. Same with it freezing off. If I've got green going into a, a harsh winter, it'll freeze it, and then I'll get a much more sort of purple or a deeper red or yellow color rather than the white color in that feed. And again, I can run young stock on that. Vice versa, if I've got uh, sheep or cattle going into calving or lambing, I can lamb them in country where there's cover and save them from the terrible south winds or whichever it may be. And that diversity gives me the ability to, let's call it paddock make, pasture make. What's it called when you make a car specifically for someone? It's, a, you know, it's like made for you. It's a... It's a very detailed thing and it's made for you. So the more diversity I've got in the paddock, the more I can tailor make the results for economy and ecology. What about a little bit of diversity in the paddock, a little diversity in what you do? Surely it would be more exciting than the same old, same old and making everybody dead bored with the same old action. Same thing happens with ecology. If you think about it, somebody's place I was at the other day, oh, it's the lambing paddock. And we've been losing four or 500 lambs every year to predators. Oh my, lambing paddock, same paddock, same time of year, 200 years. How, what do you reckon the outcome's going to be? All the foxes in the district are all howling to each other. You sharpen the carving knives, press your tuxes, it's time for that time of year again. They're lambing there again. There's definitely a link between ecological improvement and the people population of the property. If you think about a place out in the northern Kimberleys where I was the one time, Forget how big it is, but it's 250 million hectares or whatever idiotic number it is. And for eight months of the year, there are two people there. The one rides the boards, the other one flies over to see where the stock are. How much ecological shift can they really create with that people power? It's nothing compared to two people wandering around a little 40 hectare block being able to put in fodder trees and different kinds of food sources to create outcomes in paddocks. I think that it must be much more exciting for those people because they can have such more, so much more attention to detail.